If you gave me a button to just erase Gaza, I would press it right now. This is absolutely disgusting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is your brother Abu Hafsa, and today we're going to be reacting to an absolutely disgusting, despicable video. I'm just going to go ahead and play it so you guys can see for yourself what I'm talking about. If you gave me a button to just erase Gaza, every single living being in Gaza would no longer be living tomorrow, I would press it in a second. I would press it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same with the territories. I would press it right now. Right now. Give me that button. I'd press it right now. There you go. <laughs> and I think most Israelis would. They wouldn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. You press this. All the Palestinians are gone. You'd be like, fucking hey, <laughs> is there another one? So this video has been taken from a podcast called Two Nice Jewish Boys. And in it, they're discussing what the sentiment on the grounding in Israel regarded the people of Gaza. And he said something absolutely disgusting, which is that if there was a button that could erase the whole of Gaza, then he would press it. And the sentiment on the ground in Israel that they would also do the same. And then when you deep it, bro, when they're saying erase Gaza, they're talking about everything that's there. The men, the women, the children, the babies, and even the animals. And to be honest, this isn't very surprising at all, as genocidal verses have been used by Benjamin Netanyahu, who's the leader of Israel right now, to describe the people of Gaza. And one of those verses that have been referenced by Benjamin Netanyahu is the verse that's found in Samuel, in which God has given the commandment to go and attack Amalek. Go and attack the Amalekites and utterly destroy everything. The men, the women, the children, the babies, the donkeys and the cattle, everything. Imagine that. God is commanding you to go and kill babies. Now, who are the Amalekites and what the hell has that got to do with Gaza? Well, according to Jewish tradition, the Amalekites were seen as the arch enemies of the Israelites. After the Israelites left Egypt and were wandering in the desert, they were attacked by the Amalekites. And there was all kinds of battles and fighting that took place between the Amalekites and the Israelites. And then God gave the command of the verse that I just referenced before. And there was also a command by God to blot out the memory of Amalek from under the heavens. Meaning to completely erase it. But then what's the connection between Amalek and Gaza? What, I mean, what, what the hell? You know, if, if God commanded that in the past, then what's that got to do with what's taking place today? So shortly after what took place in October a few months ago, Benjamin Netanyahu, the leader of Israel, came on the TV and he reminded everybody that Gaza is Amalek. And he received huge criticism from people all over the world for making such a reference. Because now he's given a command for genocide. Any concern that some of the soldiers might have had for the innocent people of Gaza, then that would have been erased immediately. Because all of a sudden now, God is being referenced and God is now commanding you to go into Amalek and fight that historic battle with the evil enemies of the Israelites. And now you can go in and take out the babies, the women and the children as was referenced in Samuel. You know, one has to think that if this is the kind of rhetoric that's coming out of a podcast that's called Two Nice Jewish Boys, one can only begin to imagine what kind of language they'd be using if the channel was called Two Evil Jewish Boys. We're seeing the images all over Twitter with these beautiful little children coming out with their limbs and their bodies absolutely decimated. And these guys are having a nice little laugh and a joke about it. They're not a bunch of cockroaches, bro. And the button that you reference is, it's not like a rage spray where you spray it and you get rid of all the cockroaches. These are human beings, bro. And the fact that you reference these people like that is absolutely disgusting on your part and your community should be on your case and calling you out for it. Imagine this was a channel called Two Nice Muslim Boys and in it they were talking about erasing a whole group of people, being able to push a button and getting rid of everything. That channel would no longer exist. It'd be shut down straight away and those Muslims would be taken for investigation. Such is the world that we live in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove the suffering that our brothers and sisters are going through. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.